cruise day. Would you look at the size of it? That's our ship. Right, we've done the muster station, so we're going to our room. Lord Disney Dream, hello. Is it there? Yeah. So the reason you're falling was the wrong boot, yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> my stomach's turned. It's been fine. My stomach's been fine for six weeks, and in the last 24 hours, ever since this happened with the uh, the COVID test, my stomach's just turned to shite. Cruise travel day, all's done now. We've got as negative passes. We're not there yet. Um, we've got another hour to the port. Yeah, we've got an hour to the port. Um, we're going with our friends Stacy and Pete. Um, Stacy's just nipped into Panera Bread because she's hungry. Yeah, <coughs> um, that's hungry. Pete's filling the car up, and um, we should be there in about an hour. Meeting all the guys there, Vera and uh, Chris and Michael and Stephen and Bernice. Bernice and who else is going? Suzanne and Andy. Andy. Um, so <laughs> about we've, 15 people going. We've got quite a lot of people going, so it should be fun. <laughs> Um, so we are sailing on Independence of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. We've never been on this cruise ship before. We it's a new one for us. £210 yeah. for a balcony room. Including $50, $50 credit $50 on bar credit, which you have used to buy Nick's the internet. Spent. So it doesn't include drinks, but no. $210, that is insane. All cruises out here, if you book them far enough advance, seem to be really Very Even inexpensive. like last day, they're ridiculously cheap compared yeah. to the UK, like a fifth of the price. We can take two bottles of wine on per stateroom, so we've got a bottle of red wine each. Yeah. And you can take 12 cans of soda, so we're taking some Cokes. Yeah. Uh, so, excited and um, excited. My stomach's trembling. I've just had to take a busker fan because it's, it's a bit mm. off it. Looking forward to getting on and... Um, enjoying a cocktail or two. We've packed as, um, as trunks drink. or as swimwear in our hand yeah, luggage this so time. So we can get straight in the hot And I've had to shave his back again. Right, we're on his way. Port Canaveral, it says on this sign, 33 miles Yee. to go. 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll get there about half past 10. About an hour before a scheduled check-in time. Yeah. So we're going to try the trick that we did in the UK and try and um, get on a little early. Yeah. Now they have said turn up an hour later because they're doing extra sanitisation. But, but we all just want to get there. We want to get there, we want to be first in the queue and then get on board and then we can relax. Disney Dream just there. That's our ship. Where? There. On there. Disney yeah, Dream there. there. <laughs> so over there is all the Disney and, and Carnival ones. The one there. Oh, uh, the one closest to us. Yeah, on the okay. road there, just to the left of the road, that's independent. How can you tell? Because I'm looking on Vessel Finder on my phone. <laughs> it shows you where ships are. Are you serious? Nerdy things, yeah. You are nerd. I love it. Peter, look at that. I know you're driving, don't look. Yeah. Hello again, Dream. So there's quite a few ships in the left section and then there's two over here, there's a, there's a, I can't even see it, there's a, there's independence there and then there's one in front of it, we're on that one there that's, that's kind of there. Would you look at the size of it? That's our ship. Independence of the seas, hello, home for the next four days. Right, so we're going to park in the multi-storey and then um, some porters will meet us with our suitcases and we'll go and do the checking process. Oh my god, there's an RV parked right there. There's nobody about. Do you guys have any advice for us where to go? Or drop off pickup? Uh, I think we're probably a little thank bit. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Absolutely. We are going to be the first on board. There's literally <laughs> nobody here. Yippee! We're the first ones here. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> we're early for everything. Anyway. We'll be the first in the queue when we're waiting, at oh, least. Shit.
Right, we've cleared there. everything. We've played customs. The tests went okay. Passports, visas, esters, all that. We're now sat in the um, the boarding hall and they've told us that the Coast Guard is currently doing additional sanitization on the ship so we have to wait for them to clear it. We are literally one of about 50 people ahead of everybody else so if you look around the room here you can see this is all that's waiting it's kind of empty over here and then here these are the people that have got before us. That's we literally we literally walked in and um, there was hardly anybody in front of us there was no queues at all in, in security. Lee of course got frisked they found his they found his fan in case it gets warm at four degrees Celsius. So uh, Stacey's rather excited. Have you calmed down now? I, not yet, I need a drink. Me too, actually. <laughs> then I'll be calm. So we got to the uh, security desk and uh, I asked Lee for his vaccine card. <laughs> I'm not going. It. So he's currently stripping his suitcase trying to find it. Luckily, they accepted that our NHS letters, so uh, he's just trying to find it now, see where he's put it. He's already blamed me, which I knew he would, so. Right, we've just been called, 11.30. We're heading on to the ship. <laughs> Here we go! Look how boring it is, I can't get over it! Right, this is not normal. Literally, we haven't gone into the ship yet. We've just been sent straight to the muster station. Yeah, so we're just going to do our muster stations. There's the Disney dream there. You've got to like 4pm to do it. Yeah, well at least it gets it done, so I must have stations down here. Just got to show the app and sign in, what have you. Right, we've done the muster station, so we're going to our room. Hopefully ready. Hopefully ready. Sale passes. Room's ready. ready. For the next four days. <sighs> oh, nice big bed. Right, we're in the room, as you saw. So I'll just show you around quickly before we um, mess it up. Mess it up, which will take about five minutes, knowing us. Um, so nice, that is massive bed. I probably well, say that in every cruise ship, but it's massive. I know. Well, it's even bigger. Um, so TV, is that an adjoining door? Yes. Yeah. TV, obviously, sofa, little dining table, coffee table. A little fridge. Yeah. Which I preloaded with the wine that we brought and some cokes. Yeah, and um, that's where I'll do a little bit of editing if I get some time. It's only got US plug sockets though, not the European ones that we had last okay. time. Oh wait a minute, no there's a European yeah. one there. Um, wardrobe. And uh, a bathroom. What's that like? Alright. Mm -mm, very nice. And shower. I think the decor's not as modern as Anthem. No, but we knew it wasn't going to be. It's still the same design. Anyway. This is an, an older ship, isn't it? I don't know what year it's from. Uh, this is in Independence of the Seas. We knew it was going to be a little bit more dated, but it's fine. We've done absolutely no research on the ship, no. so everything is new. Literally, Lee just watched a few YouTube videos while we were sat sort of yeah. waiting to board. Look at that balcony. It's that really has a balcony. Look, at, look at the depths of it compared to the Princess oh, Let's have one. a quick look outside, see what the view is at the moment. Wow. So everybody else is on this floor, oh, beyond, beyond that sticky outfit there. And then, uh, is that dolphins there? I was just thinking, what's them things there? Popping up from the sea. No, they're not moving, are they? I don't know what that is. Right, so we're uh, not much of a view at the moment, so we're going to go and explore Disney Dream. Hello. Is it there? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. We were on that ship two years ago. Right. We're just waiting for our suitcases now, so we're going to meet everybody for some food yeah. because we're all hungry. We might even inquire about the drinks package to see if they're doing any deals on that. Yeah. Right, so we're on deck six, which is there. Let's have a um, look what we've got. I wonder if that's. Ooh, champagne bar. Like that. I wonder if that's actually a room where you can go and escape or whether it's oh, an no, escape room. Uh, well, I don't know actually. I'll have to find out. Viking lounge. Um, rock like climbing wall, so that's on the outside. Sports court, sky climber, floor rider. Maybe you'll have a go this this time. Um, Johnny Rockets. If you want a um, milkshake, sky lounge, spa. Ooh, fish and chips. Oh no, fish, fish and, and chips. chips. Right, come on. I'm hungry. I want to go to Windjammer. Guest relations first. Right, guest relations. I'm going to ask about the drinks Where package. Is Where is it? Uh, there. The guest problem, services right? on number five. One down. Let's go down the steps. Dining room there. Oh, look at that promenade. The Royal Promenade looks like a shopping centre. Right, there's no deals on the drinks package, so we're just going to have a little mooch. Going to go for some food at the Windjammer, I think. 
Everybody seems to be heading up there because we're all hungry. Um, little uh, dance area there. So, uh, what are we doing now? Hospitality. Oh, we're going to hospitality. Yeah, just to change our anytime to my time or something. Oh, that looks a nice bar in there. Casino through there. Right, we're just changing our dining to um, any time or something. I'll just show you the uh, menu for tonight here. Any snails? Snails? Yeah, uh, yeah. escargot. A la boge non 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 non. Um, battered fish and seafood. I'm having that. Slow roasted prime rib. It's doing a bit something weird with the camera because of the uh, screen. Why has it got a little star on it? Roasted beef. I don't know. Surf and turf. Um, You've got to add thirty-four dollars on Nick. No, that's for surf and turf. Yeah, well, it's got it outside of that. No, no, that's not what it needs. Mm. And some oh, um, dessert. Oh, warm hazelnut the chocolate the, cake. The star means it could be like undercooked. Yeah. It's just a warning to say you might get poisoned. Oh, roll cheesecake, roll chocolate cake. Oh, I remember that. Apple blossom a la mud. Right, we've made it up to the windjammer for food. Got to find the others. Vera's got a table somewhere. And then uh, we're going to have a look at the food. Looking for Vera. I'm starving. Me Nick's on the curry already. Why not? Oh, that looks nice. Getting some, I've got some uh, steamed some salmon, salmon and some smoked chicken so far. Thank you. Right, we've just had some food. We're just having a quick look out of the windows. Apparently that's some kind of space museum there. Oh, that triangle thing. You yeah, her friend day. Suzanne was just telling us she's done that. Um, so there's all the ships that are uh, boarding today. Disney uh, Dream, yeah. Enchantment, OTC, and then I think it was a carnival. Yeah, the party ship. Yeah, this will be the party ship. Right, we're heading down to deck three. We're going to have a mooch soon. Wow, oh, look, look at, at all that. that. Where are we going now? Oh, no, that's right. We're going down to deck three to book yeah. ice skating. Art gallery. It's all the same. Uh, I like them. The, um, yeah, it's the same ones on the um, other ships that we've seen. Oh, Nick, come and look at these. Oh, they're weird. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. Freaking me out. They're weird. It's like the, it's raised, but it looks oh, it 3D. It is raised. Yeah. Don't touch. That proper looks weird. I wonder if they've got Disney. Is this Disney? Oh, yeah. They've got all the Disney ones again. Oh, the Thomas King Caves. Yeah. Uh, they've had all the same ones on all the same ships, all, all the different ships. So, uh, so yes, I was, as I was saying, we're just nipping down to deck three to, oh, here we go, to book us all in for um, ice skating, which we're all going to do tonight. I might just watch and vlog. I might have a champagne for everyone. <laughs> Ooh, let's have a look here. GoPro. 10 is $499 and it's tax free and uh, we're just looking where to book oh so we can't book it at the moment no, it's all closed up. we just so wanted to inquire about the before the, it opens for ice skating book it. and we want seven o'clock so we want to see the rocket launch tonight right we're just having a little mooch around the promenade and then we're going to go and find vera who's up in the adult section having a cocktail by the pool she's got the best idea for sure so there's a Ben and Jerry's there, it's quite noisy, and uh, jewellery and watches there. Oh, Michael Kors shop, my sister would love that. All the shops are closed, yeah. Vintages, which is the same as the other shops. I'm going to have a quick look in the library, it's the quiet zone. Oh, oh there we go. So you've got your internet stations. There's no books again. Uh, oh yeah, that's weird. Didn't the last cruise out. we had in. Yeah. Well, anyway. well Colby's obviously people touching him. Well, yeah, but it didn't stop him on Celebrity, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Is, it the biggest Is it nice and hot? Nice. Might get in. Might get in myself. What? Oh yeah. So he's just saying there's a, uh, a roof. Is that? There's no glass there though, is there? Yeah. First ship leaving. 
the carnival elation they're on the way we're not going for a few more hours yet Disney dream setting sail everybody's going out before us today by the looks of it bye Right, the sail away is going to start in about half an hour, so we've got a, uh, a... Sail away, sail away, sail away! We've got a uh, spot up here for the sail away, so I think there's going to be a band there and what have you. They're just doing an announcement over the phone, oh, over the phone, over the speaker, so it was probably a bad time for me to vlog, but anyway. Um, this is where we are at the moment, obviously in Port Canaveral. Right, that guy, stop talking now. I was always saying, there is the uh, NASA... Uh, big building where the shuttle used to go from. Here's Vera enjoying life with uh, Suzanne <laughs> And uh, we're just waiting for the sail away party as I said everyone's here Chris, Stacy Andy and Peter <laughs> Waiting for the sail away party now, yeah? Oh, I hope there's a good sail away party. Me too oh. <laughs> okay, this was the sail away party. Nothing. Come on, Vera, where's the sail away party? Can you give us a dance? We're still here. We're sailing, but we just kind of took off without any um, event. Disney Dreams got quite far out, and uh, we're on his way. Tomorrow we are at Coco Key, um, which is Royal Caribbean's private island. Tonight, I think we're doing some ice skating. Carnival Liberty just passing us, which is generally known as a party boat. We were actually going to take Batty B and my family on that in October 2019. It was 175 pounds yeah. for three days. On until it. we um, looked at the reviews. And well, it got, their music. We cannot even yeah. add our music for theirs. Vera, I think Vera wants to go on it. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. Next cruise, Carnival with Vera. Oh my god, it looks so lively. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a sweater, I think. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. It's rigging freezing. <laughs> Wash your boots, Vera. <laughs> We're just like waiting for the sign ups for the ice skating to open. Well, I'm just are we going to have a um, a drink? Yeah, come on, then. let's get some drink. <laughs> the top deck because there's a rocket launch tonight from Port Canaveral just well not Port Canaveral Cape Canaveral uh, just there if I zoom in you can see it flashing and a rocket is gonna go up from there in about 10 minutes about 20 seconds to go oh oh oh, oh there we go With the shuttle, you can hear it crackling. <laughs> the next time we come to Florida, we need to actually watch it from close. <laughs> you can see the flames actually moving behind it. They're thinking it's warm in here. I should be on a cruise. Ship. So that's the thrusters which uh, detached, separated and it's coming back down 
See if I can zoom That's in. That's amazing. I don't know whether it's going to the ocean or whether it's going back to like a, a landing pad, but uh, that's just come all the way back down from uh, the atmosphere and coming back down. That was amazing to watch. Look at that. It's like 30 feet off the ground and it's slowing down. Yeah. Wow. Right, we just saw that um, rocket launch, which was amazing. That was stunning. That was amazing. <laughs> that was just Look at this. not the usual thing that you see on a cruise, is it? This is Leonardo and Kate. Oh, oh yeah. King of the world! King of the world! King of the world! That's what it says, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, For goodness sakes. Royal Promenade down there. We're just going to go and get changed into some um, long short, uh, sorry, long trousers because we have ice skating in about 10 minutes. We've got to put some um, long trousers on for it. Should be fun. Right, we've just got changed. We had to put uh, long trousers on for ice skating. So oh, if it's real ice, it might be cold. Back in a minute. Get my, my hoodie, will you? It's on bed. So we're getting a hoodie because it's real ice, it might be cold. We are going to do some uh, a bit of uh, ice skating. Right, here we go. <laughs> just getting a skate together. Stacey getting her boots on there. <laughs> Here they go, Stacey's first. Yeah. <laughs> I need to practice this well. <laughs> Got it sorted now. Not as good as Peter and Stacey, are you? <laughs> I feel like I'm quite happy just vlogging it. I don't blame you. <laughs> so the reason you're falling was the wrong boots, yeah? Oh, they're massive. These fit and they're still a bit deep. So you're going to be a lot better now. Yeah, you do. Right, go for it, Nick. New boots. Are you knackered, Nick? Right, we've got a humongous dining table. It's, it, it's far like Downton Abbey. So there's like eight of us sat around the table. The dining room is massive. It's so much more better designed than it was on Celebrity. 
The top deck is not actually in use at the moment. And um, we've just ordered, look at that chandelier, oh my god. And uh, we're just talking about what we're going to do tomorrow at Coco Cay. Vera's going snorkeling. Um, we're going to go to the uh, swim up tiki bar. Oh, that sounds good. And I fancy like a barbecue or something. Barbecue and a cocktail. Because we've decided while we've been here, we're going to get the drinks package. And we've had it, we've had it. And we've hammered it in about two hours. So, chocolate martinis about it. Yeah. YOLO. Every day's best. Prosecco, thanks. That looks familiar, Vera. What's that? That looks familiar. It's very, it's very snaily. So Vera's ordered that willingly. It's not like something to try. A lot of people over here actually have this as like a, as like a, a starter. For us in the UK, it's absolutely disgusting to order snails. But it, it does actually taste nice. You, but you can't you can't go to a restaurant in the UK and order snails. I don't think so. A French restaurant, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yours has turned up. Yeah. <laughs> Where's mine? We're digging in. Go ahead, dig in. Dig in. We're digging in. Mm. Is that an antipasto plate? What did you get, Stacey? I got the Waldorf salad. All right, okay. Oh, well, I'm digging in. And <laughs> Suzanne, you got the butternut squash soup. Butternut squash soup. Right. Yeah. Oh, mine's here now. Thank you. Thanks. So Nick went for two starters, obviously. He went for the um, cheese plate as well as the um, shrimp cocktail. That's just for the table. Well, why is it in front of you then? I'm not, put it there. I'm not sure what to say. Nick's slab nice. of meat has arrived. Slab of meat? I've got half a cow. <laughs> oh, those look nice. Chris got, Chris got two. Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> you were hungry there, Chris. <laughs> A um, uh, bit of chicken for me, and um, right, and uh, your che oh your cheese oh. plate has gone down quite nicely as well. How it's cut in? Is it nice? That's a bit fat. It's going to melt in your mouth. Look at that. It's like I'm just not even putting any pressure on the knife. Very nice. Let me try it. Go on then. The steak is so skinny. Bernice has come and joined us. Literally melted in my mouth. Lovely. Right, we're just walking through the sports bar. And then through the casino, we're just looking for a uh, bar just to chill out at. Are you doing a bit of um, gambling, Vera? It's calling to me. <laughs> Big casino. Going straight through here to Schooner's Bar, I think. I want to play with the slots right now. 100, 100, 100. How much is it? Oh my what a goal. There's a hundred a pack. Yeah. Know, you know it's gonna, it's gonna I bet like, nobody ever wins that. It's gonna be like that. the teddy bears at yeah. uh, Bridlington. You know you can't grab a teddy bear. You certainly can't grab a hundred no. dollar bill. What song's this? These all seem to know it. I feel out of me. I feel out of my depth. I've never heard of it. Finally know a song. Finally know a song. Vera's having a song sung to her for her birthday. It's the 45th. It's the 45th, yeah, this week. <laughs>
the next day. Nick's feeling a bit rough. I'm not feeling rough. He's feeling a bit tired. I'm feeling friggin' tired because nosy shit's next door. Noisy, that is not noisy. noisy. <laughs> we have a very noisy family next door. Lots of kids and they were up about 6am banging on the doors and stuff. Um, so... And now we're watching Aladdin. Oh, well, we're not watching Aladdin, but they're watching Aladdin. Well, I can hear every bleeding word of it. Um, we have today docked already at Coco K. Perfect day at Coco K. So that is going to be the next vlog. So, um, I'm just going to show you outside before I finish the vlog. What? There's nothing out this side, so Coco K is obviously on the other side. I think Vera's... Oh, there we go. A little bit of Coco K there. And the sun's on it as well. Vera's sat on a balcony drinking mimosa. She's on the other side of the um, ship. So I'm guessing she's uh, sat looking at Coco K. It's massive, it's Coco K. It looks like um, a humongous typhoon lagoon. So we're going to go and get breakfast, which you'll see in the next vlog. And then head down to Coco K for the day. So, um, are you ready? We're off to the wind. We're off to the wind jammer for breakfast. So uh, we hope you enjoyed our travel day getting on board. We will show you around the ship a lot more in the next couple of vlogs. The next vlog will be at Coco K. We've got to get off. There's a floating island apparently and if you want a drink, you've got to swim to it. Mm. Floating, floating bar. And we're gonna get back on board at 4.30. So then we'll show you a little bit more around the ship and stuff. Uh, we've got lots to explore. We haven't explored anything. No. I mean, so far yesterday, it's a bit surreal. We did ice skating at sea. Yeah. Which I've never done before. Almost broke my neck, but never mind. Um, let us know if you've been on board of the Independence of the Sea. Let us know if you've done perfect day at Coco K. And, um, Put your card in your pocket for you. Oh. And uh, we'll see you on the next cruise vlog. Bye,